This week's parsha is the famous story where Moshe hit the rock to provide water for the Jewish people instead of speaking to the stone. And it was considered a mistake, and Hashem said, because of that you will not be allowed to enter the land of Israel. And it's very hard to understand what he did so wrong, and there are many explanations to it. I heard a beautiful idea. See, the Jewish people were complaining there's no water to drink. But they were acting really bad. They were grouchy. They were complaining and crying and kvetchy, as we say. There's no water to drink. And Moshe told them, like, why are you acting like this? Always kvetching, always complaining. And he gave them a whole Musa talk, how they're acting. And then he went ahead and took the stick, which Hashem told him to speak to the stone, and hit the stone. And Hashem said, you made a terrible mistake. You know what your mistake was? When you gave them a Musa talk, I didn't tell you to shout at them. I didn't tell you to give them Musa, to give them rebuke. You did it on your own. You know what the mistake there was? Because when they were complaining that there's nothing to drink, I wanted to show them, even if they're acting like that, they're acting terrible, they're complaining and shouting, I want to show them I love them dearly, even if they're acting like that. And I'm going to make a miracle. And out of a stone, will, water will shoot forward and there'll be plenty to drink. What a great miracle. But I had the opportunity to show, show them how much I love them, even if they're complaining. But you messed up, Moshe, because you gave them rebuke. And they thought into it and they said, you know, Moses, you're right. And they done tshuva, they repented. And then... The water came forth. So all the Jews are thinking, hey, you know why Hashem gave us water to drink? Because we all repent. And we're better. And we're talking to Hashem on a nicer tone. That's why Hashem was providing us with water. But before he would never have done it. And Hashem says, that's your mistake. Never show a Jew that Hashem only loves him or her when they're good or when they repent. Hashem loves us no matter what. And that is a big enough mistake not to allow Moshe in the land of Israel. Always remember, no matter what, Hashem loves you dearly no matter how you act. If you don't act the way you should be acting, you are lacking in your connection to Hashem and your pleasure in this world and the next. But Hashem loves, Hashem's love towards His children, no matter how we act, Hashem loves us dearly. Thank you and good Shabbos. Shabbos. Shabbos.